I'm not a technical guy and I love stubby lights so obviously this kind of uh, backup tactical lights attracts me and here's the latest one from Workhouse hey welcome back to UDC channel this is Jay notice that I say um, backup because at this size and uh, shape it's not meant to be the primary tactical light I truly believe these were designed as a backup tactical light which is what or why attracted an EDC guy like me to this kind of light who doesn't uh, really need a full-blown tactical light they give a taste of tactical while still being um, usable as an EDC light so in this video I will review it more from an EDC perspective rather than a tactical one Okay, let's see the box. Uh, usual recourse uh, packaging. Outer sleeve in a um, thicker inner box. User guide, ring cables. The tactical ring is not included in the sample though. I thought I could use uh, my other uh, rings. I have several. But um, none of them uh, fits when I tried them. The last prototype that I got earlier this year was also missing a clip. So I, th I guess it's quite normal since they not the uh, final and might still have some minor changes. But the retail version is included. Okay, let's take a closer look. No doubt that the design and form factor, at least for me, is uh, attractive. And I will um, compare it closely with this older brother, TD03. It's using a shiny black instead of a matte finish like the other TD series and it's currently the only color option available I know it's subjective but I think most will prefer the matte look and feel the anodizing seems quite strong enough I dropped it on the concrete floor from waist height on uh, day one there is very minimal damage I think my ego hurt more plus uh, for this kind of light I don't really mind some wear and tear not something to be a baby and uh, shine not only on the body but on the bezel as well but this time I prefer the shinier bezel I'm not sure if it's using a stainless steel this time or still um, aluminum like this uh, like on this TD03 but it looks and feels stronger and denser to the point that I can't tell if it's um, stainless steel or, or aluminum. The head is ever so slightly bigger. So I think um, bezel are, the bezels are not interchangeable. Both with a USB type C with rubber flap. Nothing much to say here and the uh, battery plus uh, charging indicator it's using the same rotary mode selector but uh, with a totally different approach which I'll talk more about in the UI section later on but it's using a rubber button instead of a much sturdier metal switch like in the TD03 and I kinda like the cleaner looking flat switch plus it allows for a um, tail stand but this rubber looks more mm, tactical and grippier on the business end it's using uh, the new viral SFT25R LED thrower LED unfortunately not in um, 5000K as I was hoping but the uh, cool white version instead 
the smooth refactor is quite big and deep combined with the SFT25R the hotspot is tight this uh, light will throw quite a distance and this is on moonlight we'll see it in um, other beam shots later first is the SFT40 in 5000K in this one we'll see how they perform and who throws better but I definitely prefer the more um, neutral tint it has a lower low or moonlight but still not low enough but for this kind of light it's not really meant um, as a bedside light especially not with that tint I just use a slicker um, cozier ones okay let's see some size comparison with other uh, work coast here are a few short ones you saw this so it's right um, in the middle this time both the head and the tail are not glued but it's already in short um, 18.350 format which I obviously prefer so much that I made uh, the effort of shortening this um, TDO3 but if you prefer a full but if you prefer the full size version oh yeah the, try to avoid taking it off from the head unless you take off the clip first but if you prefer the full size version Sovereign um, came out with the 18650 version of this which is kind of similar because it won't take the 18352 from the TDO3 even though they are the same TD series from the same brand here are some other uh, workhorse throwers it has the same um, diameter in fact I think it has the same refactor as the TS12 but obviously smaller than the TS11 which uses a lens instead of a refractor some size comparison with other lights with similar form factor from other brand probably this is the most comparable to the T4 from Ruben and uh, TA30C from Next Torch also with rotary switches um, I'll also do a, a quick UI comparison later there's a shorter version of this however they put the rotary switch in the front which is not the uh, good idea in my opinion especially for one hand operation as you have to um, adjust the position of the hand grip for one hand use okay I think that's enough Oh, this doesn't fit also, I tried. Okay, let's just go to the UI. First of all, I truly think that they nailed it. I even put this uh, exact UI in my wishlist and recommendation in my previous videos. As much as I would like to get credit for it, but I think it must have been just a coincidence. It's using a dual stage forward tail switch 
and there are three mode groups in the daily group they just put the regular low medium high unfortunately with memories and constant turbo by double clicking without all the blinky strokes etc which i personally think is a great idea there's a separate dedicated group for their specific purpose which is the tactical mode here it's just momentary turbo and uh, stroke warning momentary stroke by utilizing the two step switch again which i think is what or how tactical light should work but i might be wrong as mentioned i'm not a tactical guy just from my understanding i think there's never a need for constant stroke and um constant turbo can be accessed from the outdoor edc group which is just a switch away plus turbo is not meant to uh, be run at an extended uh, time anyways and exactly what i like from the tactical mode in the t4 as well what i don't like is that on the daily mode it starts from um, high to low last but not least is the lock mode there's a momentary moonlight which is ex exactly what i hope for in these other lights inside there's a momentary stroke on um, tdo3 stroke warning the moonlight is rated at two lumens but it's a uh, barely dimmer than the low which is rated at uh, 20 lumens oh and on the daily mode you can only turn it on by half clicking it won't turn on if um, you fully click it all the way and the uh, turn it off is the other way you have to click it all the way otherwise it would cycle up if you um, do a half clicks this is probably the only uh, not necessarily cons in the UI just need some getting used to in the TTO3 the daily and uh, tactical mode are turned on automatically there's no option um, for off meaning you can stand by in these uh, modes I much prefer the way they do it in this um, TDO7 although arguably this is faster okay I think you can take it outside now okay let's compare these two low low Try to turbo. To recap, I really dig this form factor. And I think many would love and enjoy this. Just think of it as a backup tactical light that doubles as an EDC light. Which I think um, what they were aiming uh, or designing this to be. 
Build quality is good, especially for the price. MSRP at uh, $42. Um, I can't comment on the clip since I, it's not included. I mean the tactical clip. It, it came with this um, dual direction clip instead. SFT25R is a good choice for it, but I do wish it's a natural, uh, the neutral 5000K instead. But the cool white CC5K is not um, that bad. UI is exactly what I wish for, with some getting used to, but other might have um, different preferences. With all of this factor, I can easily um, recommend this light. Okay, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. I know.